Hello everyone, my name is Justin and welcome to the Carolina Hurricanes Owner Adventure. If you're not into owner mode, I have a strictly GM mode NHL 17 series I'm doing with the Winnipeg Jets. Link will be in the description to the, that series. Um, I hope you enjoy this episode, I hope you subscribe, and we're going to get right into things here. So, this is take three of this episode, um, and I'm not one of the people who just keep going because maybe my record's not what I want it to be, or maybe I only simulated a few games. Um, the first one I just made, I was just stupid. Okay, my microphone wasn't on. The second one, I started simulating. And the problem with Carolina, I don't know if this is every team, but um, the GM has a high willingness to move, which I wanted to do is move. Um, but once you start simulating, it goes down to none. Um, so... What we are going to do is we're going to have to ask him to move before we actually start simulating. And then we can get into the details of that afterwards. Um, so first we've got to get all the, the owner mode stuff out of the way. Our owner expectations. He expects us to boost fan happiness to 89. That's going to be hard to do with the sucky team. But that's a primary goal so we're going to have to manage that somehow. I want us to beat our rival to Washington, Cap Washington Capitals in our first meeting. That I have no control over. And I want us to have an average of 70% concession fan happiness that I can probably do. The state of the team is a rebuilder as a rebuilders, blah, blah, blah. We know that. So I thought the goals would be the same for every team every time you do, but it's not. So that adds something interesting um, to that. We are still looking for our star forward of the future. Um, that's what I think we're going to tank for this year. That's the plan. We have a bunch of good defensive prospects. But our offensive prospect pool is slim. I want a lot of money for stadium, but I want a lot for this. Eh, not that much, maybe twelve fifty. We'll get some advertising in there too. Uh, we will save the budget. Next, it's going to want us to set the promotions. We are going to set these. Like I said, if you don't like these long episodes and the four or five episodes per season, go and check out my GM mode series. I mean. Cause I'm going to be doing a lot of the owner stuff, which I noticed some people is boring. So if that's if this isn't your thing, go check out the owner mode one, or the uh, GM mode one rather. So our first home game, we definitely want to have something. We'll give them a T-shirt. Okay, and then against the Washington Capitals, I don't know if this is our first meeting or not, but you know what? We'll do a puck giveaway in case it is. That'll hopefully help us win. Um, then we're here in December, an early Christmas gift, um, a Justin Folk bobblehead for Christmas. Uh, then we'll come up against the Penguins here and uh, give them some hats. Um, the Rangers, we'll give them a, how much do we have left? We'll do another puck. And then the last game of the year, the last home game, we'll do a Terravon and Bobblehead. Screw Jordan Stall. And we will save and exit. So there are promotions done with. So we got that stuff done with here. We're going to have to quickly do some of this stuff because I want to talk a lot about relocation. Majority of commenters, obviously I don't get a lot of commenters, but the majority said that they want to relocate. Um, ever since this 2006 Stanley Cup, it's been downhill for these guys. They're not having success in Carolina. Their attendance was horrible last year in the regular season. So it's time to move on, I think. The only problem, you know, I'll talk about that later. Let's repair the bathrooms. Um, so we'll set the prices real quick, as quickly as we can. Uh, 53 bucks, 118 bucks. We have to make money. We want to relocate. 270 for the suites. Concession. They have a nice concession already here in Carolina. Um, the fountain pop apparently not good. The chicken strips not good. Remember, we want 70% and healthy beverages. So those are all going to go down. I don't really know if I want to lower this. But we want fan happiness, that's one of our goals. 
so um, really the healthy stuff is too expensive it's not that expensive everything else is pretty averaged out uh, this could go down 575 Poutine, 825. 450 for the pizza. Four bucks for juice. The merchandise, 110. Three fifteen. I don't know why Teravon would be. Maybe because he's a future player for us. Maybe he's a fan favorite. We gotta make our money. We're losing. Or that we uh, put the concession stand prices down for. We're gonna make that up in here parking 17 bucks and 29 we got all that done not upgrade and maintain let's get out of there real quick let's go to budgets marketing budget We'll do that. I already did this once, some of it twice. So we're zooming through this. Uh, let's set our lines and stuff. Yeah, let's go over the contracts real quick, actually. Manage contracts. I think we should tank, obviously. I said that. I think it's best for our team. Here are our two poopy goalies. Sorry about that, guys. Um, here we have our two poopy goalies here. We can't really trade either of them with their stupid contracts and their overalls and age and bull garbage. Um, a potential starter for the future, though, Nadel Jakov. Medium starter potential. He could be our starting goalie of the future. Defense, we're set on for the future. We have Folk, medium elite. I thought about making him high elite, but he's not on a big contract, you know. He's 88 overall. That's pretty good. Hannafin is going to be our top two, hopefully, on the left side of the future next to Folk and or some other guys we have on our team here. Uh, potentially, Hansy could go at the trade deadline. Um, Pesci, hopefully, will be a top four defenseman. Slavin's going to be our... Staple at our at the top six. Then we got Tennyson and Murphy. But here we go. We got low elite for Flurry and Bean. So hopefully two of the three of our elite potential guys, not including Falk, end up actually being elite. That's the plan. Um, so our right wing core here, one, two, three, four. Um, some potential guys, low elite for Gauthier, Zykov, top nine. Uh, left wingers, you had Skinner, Teravine, D was Giuseppe, Nordstrom, Bickle. Bottom six from again, that's about it. Center, Stahlras, McClemick, Sutter. Uh, top nine, top six for Sorella, but he's 57 overall and he's 19. I just don't see him making it to a top six. Um, if you hear my dog arfing, then I apologize. He thinks he's scary and he's not. He's a little freaking pug. Sorry about that again, guys. But that's our team, essentially. We don't have a lot of depth for year one, which isn't a bad thing, like I said. Manage rosters. Roster moves. I don't think there's really any moves we have to make. I think it's already like our 13 best. I 
I want forwards, not all skaters. Yeah. I want defense, not. <sighs> yeah, pretty much. Why to go to edit lines? It's gonna ask us if the assistant coach should help us, and I already turned that off. So why the heck would it ask me again? I don't know. One of the best lines it. I'm thinking more something along the lines of this. That way we don't have three playmakers on the second line, but Lindholm and Tervon aren't on the first line, so that kind of works out. I'm thinking D. Giuseppe we will replace with. Nestor Seals, since Di Giuseppe is a playmaker. Kind of like that. Defensively, I'm thinking we go Rob Hainsey up there. We don't want Hannafin playing top two. Um, and then we're going to go like this. And Tennyson's going to fill in that top four spot. Mainly because I want these two to grow well. And I want them to play together on the top six. They're both top six guys. Um, special teams, we're not going to change much. Change Pesci and Slavin and then go like this. Put Stall up here. Skinner. Rask. Teravon and do something like that. Rest of them, it's pretty good. So now let's talk about relocation. I'm going to ask him now. He's going to say yes. I'm going to look through the cities now with showing you guys them and get your opinion on where we should go. The problem is it's either going to be an hour long episode or I can do most of the details off camera and then just show you guys my new franchise. But I want you to have a say is the thing. So it probably won't be next episode because um, I'm going to say what city should we move to and then you know what you should do. Say what should we, city we should move to, and then say what kind of team name. Um, I'd prefer something that they already have, like a, a logo layout for, and like the custom logos or something. You know, I don't want to use a letter or something, but just name, something cool. Um, I might have to end up choosing that, but we'll find out. So let's ask him right now. Let's say, dude, we want to propose a relocation. Rejected. Willingness to move is high, but rejected. Some might call me cheap. I prefer Fugle. I don't see a financial upset on moving the team with the economy the way it is. I just re recorded this episode, and the dude doesn't want me to freaking move. Are you serious? We have a small market. Hopefully in the future he will let us move. I don't know. Well, we might as well sim some freaking games. That's kind of disappointing. I re-recorded this whole freaking thing. <sighs> Why is this willingness high to move? But then he said, no, I don't see the fun in too benefit. I don't see you funny as you been with it. That's interesting. I guess it kind of adds a cool aspect to where, you know, you can turn that thing on where every time it lets you. Um, but it kind of adds a thing where you can't just pick a team and move automatically. I think that's kind of cool, but it's kind of annoying. So we are going to move this seat off, next offseason. Hopefully the offseason after that, maybe we can convince our, our dude next season to approve a relocation. I mean, other than that, all we have to worry about is like money as being an owner. There's not a whole much more to being an owner than a GM. Besides, like, the money stuff. So, 
So we'll simulate to the end of this month. Remember, we want to win our first game against the Capitals. It's a must. Even though I want to lose every other game. We start off with a 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A 6 game away streak. That's interesting. Jay McClement. At Philadelphia, division rivals. At Detroit. McClement is available to play. I do plan on pumping out episodes now that I got these two series started, guys. I'm um, just going to go back and forth between the owner and the GM mode. And yeah, we do suck. This is expected. Let me know if I should change the lines or if maybe I should get a free agent. Um, Ela Cove, which sucks out there, but like I said, I don't really want to win right now. You know what? We'll simulate up to... So after this Washington game, let's see if we get this first goal. Maybe our owner will be happy with us. Well, we're the owner. The he's more of like the the owner, and I'm more of like the chief of operations. But we're gonna call ourselves the co-owner. But we don't have as much power. Essentially, he's pretty much the one with the money, and we're pretty much the one with the hockey sense. Is how it kind of works. A win there. So we're getting a few wins. Now this is a game we have to win. Come on, baby. Make our owner happy. We did it. I had 15,000 of your available funds. Yes. Remember, we have to have a lot of profit. Was that? Wait. I've done three of these with three completely different sets of goals. I don't remember what all the goals are for First let's upgrade and maintain the team store. So what are these owner I don't want to upgrade and maintain again, I'm an idiot. I don't know if that relocate thing will come back on this season or about the way to the off season. So owner goals, what does he want? He really wants fan happiness high. That's going to be hard to do with a sucky team. Um, let me know, is there a way to make fans happy while on a sucky team? Maybe lower prices on stuff. I don't know. Um, let's check out our player stats real quick here. Jeff Skinner leading the pack 14 points in 14 games, then Falk, then Rask, Lindholm, Nordstrom, Stahlberg, Stahl, Teravainen. Still not on the board, Tenny Sin, Slavin, whatever. So, let me know what we should do, guys. Our owner will not let us move our, um, what can we call him? Because I like to be called the owner chairman or something i don't know he will not let us move so let me know what we should do let me know if you know when that will come back on the option to move or not um is it what like i don't know maybe if we make some good profit this year uh but i want to thank everyone for watching um i hope you enjoyed please subscribe to this channel tune in i'm gonna say Either the, the day after or skip a day and then that day is when the episode should go. So essentially there's going to be a new video, not episode, new video at least one per two days. At least. Um, so I'll see you guys next time.